pockets for a body, a head, and a hat. Then you're gonna need two tubes for arms and legs, a frisbee for a cap for one of the buckets so that you can stick the other buckets on it. Then you're gonna need some cans. We just use maple syrup containers for arms, a door stop for a nose, a um, PVC pipe that curves so that you can make a um, arm that's holding something like a spear. And then you're gonna need different colors of spray paint. So we went to the store and bought our buckets. The problem is that they have this lip on them. Fortunately, Finn's dad has a grinding tool that we can take all this off. Finn's dad is gonna give you a tutorial on how to get it off on all of our buckets. All right, so our plan is we wanna take this little lip off. The first thing you have to do is take the handles off. And the handles aren't tough. With a pair of pliers, we pulled them off earlier. Um, just, they just have a little bend, you kind of pull them out of the hole. The key is what we're gonna use is a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. So this baby is gonna spin and you cut with the edge. The key is that we're gonna to want to go at an angle where we don't goof up the bucket. So then if you kind of come around this way. And what I'm gonna do is just start to slowly cut my way around till it comes off. With the bigger buckets, we may potentially use a grinder with the same sort of a thing, a cutoff wheel. And the idea is merely to just kind of go along the edge, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of grinding, we should be able to take that off. You'll never know the difference when we get done painting. As you can see, we've kind of cut the little lip off. What I'll do is I'll go back with the Dremel tool and kind of cut these down a little smoother. And then we'll just take some sandpaper and what we'll do is kind of get everything kind of just smoothed in. Um, I suppose you could probably find something that was the exact shape that you want. Um, but for Finn and I, we figure we've got more time than money. So what we're going to do is kind of take the time and just use these buckets instead of going out and shopping forever to try to find something that was already the shape. This won't be crazy once we kind of trim this up a little bit more now that we can see it um, with the cutting wheel. Just a little bit of sandpaper will smooth it out, we'll paint it up, um, it'll be a great head. Hi. What we're going to do next is we are going to turn these old syrup bottles into hands for our um, project. So what I've decided to do is it's easier sometimes to run a straight piece of tape around something for a straight edge than it is uh, to draw a line. So what I'm going to do is again use my Dremel tool. We're going to kind of cut right along the tape. In theory, when we measured it, this should fit right onto our three inch pipe um, that we're going to use for our arms. Then of course what we'll do is we'll just kind of cut off the mouth and the arm uh, with the Dremel tool. It should slide right on. We'll spray paint it and we should have a hand. Now you can see what we're going to have is a hand. It'll go right on top. We'll wrap a little bit of something to make it fit snug. And then once we fill the holes, that will look like a great hand for a nutcracker, I think. We'll do the same for the other one and we'll have a pair set. All right, Finn, what we've got to do is we've got to take this three inch diameter PVC pipe. We've got five feet of it that we bought at Lowe's. And what we need to do is make a couple of arms. So what we've decided is that each arm is going to be about two feet. So we're going to put one cut for the straight arm and then we're going to cut it into two pieces for the bent arm where we're going to join it with a three inch elbow. So this is relatively simple. I think what I'm going to do, we have a lot of different ways we can cut this. Um, we're probably just gonna cut it with a hacksaw. Just kind of take our time, chop them into pieces. That works pretty well for PVC pipe. Um, the legs, however, since we have this old stove pipe kind of sitting in the basement, or vent pipe sitting in the basement, um, what we're going to do with this is we're all gonna make each of these also about two feet long. Um, the problem is I've never had much luck in cutting um, through this sort of piping with a hacksaw. It always makes a really ugly edge. So I think I'm going to use the cutoff wheel on the grinder. Um, it's going to make a bit of spark, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut through with that. We'll, we'll show you that for a minute. Next, we're going to spray paint. We put all of the colors in the places we need. So for the flesh color, we put our hands and our head. For the um, body, we're gonna do it navy blue and with the arms. For the legs, I, for the legs, we have um, white, 
And then we have just a red spray paint over there so we can um, spray paint other things. Next, all we've got to do is spray paint it, but make sure that if you're spray painting inside, like we are, you use a mask. This is very important. Otherwise, spray painting could seriously kill you. Or at least damage your brain. Yep. Did you did you sand any of this, Finn? I sanded everything so that the spray paint sticks to it. The spray paint we got bonds to metal and plastic. Let's hope, right? Yep. my hat here. I put my frisbee on the hat. The obvious question, Finn, how are you going to get those two things to stick together? Liquid nail. It's like duct tape in the building world. Just squirt some of that around the edge, stick it on, should stick like a charm. Today is a bit warmer so we can do it outside. I'm still wearing a mask to be safe because we're still a little bit in the garage. What I'm gonna do is I have a piece of newspaper with masking tape on it, and to get a nice gold line around the rim, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the newspaper and the tape around the rim to keep it from moving, and so I get a nice straight line. You gotta make sure it's level though. Finn, are we going to use the same technique to put the masking for the red? Yep. Okay. You're on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to fold this corner over so it makes a nice seam. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue gun. So now, fold it over. Now what we're going to do is we're going to want to make a square with our glue right here. Well, I guess not really a square, like an open rectangle. And then we're going to fold it over like here. Let's glue it. Yep. for that to stick for a second. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna want to have this come over here so it makes a nice seam. Then what we might have to do is, well, I know we will have to do it, is we're gonna have to sew it like that. So first we've gotta glue this down. Now we're 
flip it up like that. Now we're gonna sew it. So we just finished sewing the legs. Next, we're gonna have to do the boots, or I guess the toes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up like that and glue it there. Where did the wood come from, Finn? The wood we just got from a board and yeah. And they're just cottage cheese containers. I mean, you don't have to use cottage cheese, but we had them, so I figured we'd use them. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue a little piece in here and a little piece in here so that they stick together. All you really need is a little dot. This makes the seam look nicer. Now I'm gonna, I have a lot of glue string right there. I'm gonna fold it over like this and glue it down. So I obviously have more on this side, but that's all right, as long as I have enough. Should be all right. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue all of this in the back. So I'm just going to draw a little arc like a rainbow. Press it all in there. And now we have some toes. So what we've got here is a tray with a piece of wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to use my friend liquid nail, squirt some under there, and it should stick. Then I'm going to flip it around and put our feet on. Okay, so the next thing we've got to do is put on the hair. We drew two little lines right here and right here so we know how far we want our hair to go. While we were spray painting, since it's a bit cold outside, we got some gator skin, but that's all right because we're gonna cover it with our hair. So what we're gonna do is get a line of hot glue right here. Oh no, I'm running out of hot glue. And now, uh, is put our hair right on there. And I'm gonna do the same for the other side. Now we're gonna put them all together, see how he looks. Now we have our base finished. Now I'm gonna take them to the Finnovation workshop, get them all decorated, and I'll see you after that. Okay, so we've got that finished up. We've got our base built. Make sure you watch part two. We added a few things that we didn't expect at the beginning. We got a few two by fours to help him be supported, and a bucket lid, and then we have his candy cane that he's holding. I got that from my grandma's house. Candy so. cane, Finn. That reminds me of a joke. Really? Yeah. What's red, white, and blue? I don't know. What? A sad candy cane. I don't get it. You never do. Thanks for watching. Make sure you watch part two. It should be coming out in probably a few days. What are you doing in part two, Finn? Part two, we're going to decorate him in Finnovation Workshop.